Totora State Park or State Forest. This video is going to be about boring travel days. So hopefully the video won't be quite as boring as the actual travel. But this was a family travel trip. So we went from Brisbane to uh, Wodonga, Victoria, just over the Victorian border to see a family member march out. And then we went from Wodonga to the Blue Mountains to visit a, uh, a very close friend that we hadn't seen for years. And pretty much it's just a, a road trip, mostly highway. Finished at the Blue Mountains, had a good time there and we're on our way home. Well, we've got three nights to get home, three nights. So it's only about four or 500 kilometers a day at most. My maths is out. It's probably three or 400 kilometers a day. So, how do you find beautiful places to stay, as opposed to staying in the truck stops and rest areas on the side of the highway, which is what we did on the way down, which serves a purpose. They're awesome, and there's some really good quality truck stops and rest stops on the way down. This is just a beautiful, beautiful state forest, completely free, only four kilometers off the highway, and we wouldn't have known about it have we not done a little bit of research? This video is just about how we did the research. Let me explain. So yesterday, leaving the Blue Mountains, what we did, we got onto, we've got two apps, Wikicamps and Hipcamp. Both are good apps, and both will give you lots and lots of options with addresses. But unless you know the areas really well, you never really can tell how far those stays will be off the highway. It could be just a few kilometers, which is great, and it could be 20 or 30 kilometers, which could be a bit of a pain if you don't have that sort of time left over to, uh, to go traveling to, to the better locations to stay. So we got onto just the normal maps app. We closed it down so that we could see the green, the national parks and state forests. We looked approximately two to three hours away from where we wanted to be. Um, this one's about an hour and a half, close to two hours away from where we were staying. And once we found the green, we widened it. As the green got wider and wider and wider, it came up with names. Victoria State Forest. Google Victoria State Forest and it comes up with the camping grounds that are in here and available whether you have to pay for them whether they're free this one's a free one that's how we got here absolutely beautiful it's got a lovely creek running through it it's got amenities so it's got um, three or four little blocks of toilets there is an information center and a seating area but it uh, hasn't been well maintained there are little camp tables and and uh, and uh, kind of like picnic tables available with little roof but um and there's not a lot of people here like this rest area or this camp area would cater for probably upwards of a hundred campers and at the moment as i look around there's probably a dozen now we're only three or four kilometers off the highway if you listen hard in the middle of the night you can actually hear the bigger trucks as they roll past what a beautiful place to stay. And it's not a rest area or a truck stop on the highway. Well, that's about it. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Give me the big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'd also like to thank... I I've just commissioned a build for a fellow that uh, wants to travel to Australia. Australia. He wants to remain private, so I'm not going to mention his name. And he doesn't want me to video his build because he doesn't want thousands of people seeing his truck. But uh, big thank you to the gentleman who's put his trust in me to uh, help him purchase a vehicle and a camper and fit it out to suit the way he wants to travel. That's it from me. Catch you on the next video. Take care. Safe travels.